We're here with Mark Higgins, who's a legendary driver, rally champion, who was a stunt driver in the last three James Bond movies. And Mark's going to take us around Sydney Motorsport Park in an Aston Martin V8 Vantage and tell us a little bit about the trade. Let's go. Mark, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, well, um, I've been very lucky enough to drive in the, uh, the last three James Bond films. And uh, obviously the last one, Spectre, was probably the best one for me. Driving the lead car um, and driving the, the DB10, which is only 10 of in the world. So that was yeah, quite well. special. And then we get to play in cars like this around uh, tracks like this, which is even better. The, uh, the three Bond films, when you, there's obviously a little bit of pressure on you with uh, a car like the DB10 that's pretty much a handmade thing. How do you go about um, driving spectacularly but also the need to preserve the car? Yeah, well the thing is I'm really glad they I found out how much the car cost. Yeah. Um, <laughs> after I was driving it, you've got to treat the car very much as a prop. And the particular car was based on the, um, the sort of Vantage V8, very similar to the car in now, but it was a manual gearbox. And um, just a very, very nice package, very, very well balanced. A bit like this car here, you can sort of move it around, it does what you want it to do. Ooh. And they just sound beautiful. That's a, the key to all the Astons. They are magic cars, aren't they? Um, so how do, you, how do you go about getting a job as a stunt driver? How did you get into the field? Well, basically, I, uh, I've been rallying professionally for 20 years or 25 years now. And uh, they wanted a rally driver to do the scene in uh, Quantum of Solace down through the uh, to the Gravelston area and um, that's sort of going to concentrate here <laughs> and for that area there uh, the rally drive was a perfect choice so yeah. a friend of mine was a guy called uh, Ben Collins who was a old stick yes he sort of said well I'd be interested in doing it so I didn't have to think very long about that to be honest Woo! <laughs> Next thing we knew, you know, we were back in Lake Garda working on my first Bond film. And I was the baddie at that point chasing Daniel and the Aston Martin down the, uh, the Lake Garda quarry and through is the it, tunnels. Is that a bit of a pinch yourself moment, getting a, getting a gig oh, yeah, uh, as I mean, a stunt driver in an Aston Martin on a James Bond movie? Yeah, well I started off as a baddie, I then progressed on Skyfall to Miss Money Penny. <laughs> and then I, got, then I got the Bond gig, so it's been a good apprenticeship. Miss Money Penny. Oh yeah, that was a good look. <laughs> or maybe not. It's very much like a family. The whole bomb thing is uh, very close. Network of people. They're good guys. I understand you've done a couple of other films as well, at the Fast and Furious Six. Yeah, that was really good fun. We got to drive a lot of cool cars. Yeah. Some great chases there through the middle of London and um, so on. So yeah, it, it's, it's been quite a good career. It's, you know, the rallying. I still love my rallying. Yeah. And I'm competing out in China. I do a lot with. Uh, Chris Atkinson is my main sort of contender out there at the moment yep. with a Volkswagen and um, I think the two contrast quite well you know you've got your rallying and the film work I yeah. love 3, 2, 1 yeah. and I also love action so yeah. uh, it's a good balance I love this by the way that you're so composed here we are you know turning into turn 1 at well over 200 kilometers an hour <laughs> no, we'll just have a chat like we're in a pub um, it's amazing What's, what's more difficult, being a, uh, a rally driver or a stunt driver? Um, they're very, very different, to be honest. Come on, baby. <laughs> the, 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 a little bit different, yeah? Yeah, they are very different. I mean, the driving side is, it becomes quite natural. It's what I've been doing for a long time. When you're working with directors, actors, you're a big, or a very small part of a, a very, very big team. Yep. Which is a bit like rallying in one respect. But uh, you're not against the clock, and sometimes what I think is a mega shot is not what the camera is even seeing. Yeah. So it's trying to get that balance uh, and get what they want rather than what I think is actually good. Have you um, have you managed to get any stunts quite as spectacular as the the Subaru at Bray Hill that's got a couple uh, million views on YouTube? Thankfully not. Thankfully not. <laughs> I remember, yeah, that was that was the first time I'd heard of you was watching that clip thinking, holy hell, this guy's got a bit of talent there. Yeah, well, we're going back again to do that this year, so um, that should be interesting with a, a 
properly built car. Is that with the Subaru again? Yeah, it is. Yeah, Subaru America involved in that. So I'm looking forward to that. So we, we start testing that car as soon as we get back to the UK. Brilliant. So what would you say to anyone who was, um, you know, who loves a bit of cinema and fast cars and consider it a, a job doing this sort of stuff? How do you? I, I think if you want something enough, you've got to go for it. I wanted to be a rally driver as a kid. Uh, or a fighter pilot. I wasn't clever enough to be a fighter pilot <laughs> and thankfully I've been involved in cars ever since. It's work hard, you need to have a bit of luck and be in the right place at the right time also. So it's getting that sort of balance between the two. Yeah. Uh, but just follow your dreams really and keep pushing and pushing. But you've got to be hungry and I think that's the key to success in any sport. Well thank you very much for taking us for this lap. It's been an amazing experience and yeah, it's great to great to do the interview outside of the newsroom. Yeah, <laughs> come, well, and, come and do it in a dynamic environment. There's some great features as well at the end of this uh, the new Blu-ray and DVD, so uh, you get to see what we get up to. We'll have a look. Thank you.